My name is Susan Stella. I'm a doctor of physical therapy at Massey Cancer Center, and I'm here to help you learn how to do yoga at home. So some safety things before we get started. You always want to stay within a comfortable range of motion for your body. You should never feel like you have any pain. You should feel comfortable. Don't try to push it too hard. The nice thing about yoga is the range of motion will come as you allow your body to relax and settle in. Gravity will do the work for you. We need a few props. So let's talk a little bit about the props that we'll need. The first thing you're going to need is the mat. So a place that has a little bit of stickiness on it, not too thick. A yoga mat is perfect. We have different size blocks that you can buy in the store. We have that for infection control. The blocks you use in the, from the yoga store are perfectly acceptable. So we have two large blocks, two smaller blocks, two blankets, and a strap. Our straps are plastic so that we can wash them, but a dog leash is exactly the right um, consistency for a strap or a stretch strap from the toy store. All right, so let's get started. First, let's find a comfortable seat. So you can sit in a chair or you can sit on the floor. If you're going to sit on the floor, you want to make sure that your hips are raised above your knees. So you may want one or even two blocks You're going to sit with your bottom up on the blocks and gently cross your knees. Then take and place the other blocks or the blankets. So you could do the blocks here to support your knees, or you can do a block and a blanket. The other way you can do this is to sit with your feet out and place something under your thighs for support. Now take your hands and gently roll your thighs so that your inner thigh goes down towards the floor and the outer thigh goes up from the ceiling, towards the ceiling. Take your hands and pull that nice flesh away from your sits bones and feel how that adds a little curve in your back and helps you to sit up straight. Now engage your belly button towards your spine as your tailbone points towards the floor below you. Shoulders come up towards your ears and they roll back and relax down on your spine. Chin parallel with the floor, crown of the head towards the ceiling. And just notice. Notice the ease of sitting when your block, when your body is stacked, when the bones are in alignment. If you'd like, you may gently close your eyes, taking yourself inward. Notice the sounds in the room, the temperature. Go into your own body. How does your body feel today? No judgment, just easy noticing. And when you're ready, just notice your breath. Notice the way it goes in and out of your body. Is it labored? Is it easy? Is it warm? Is it cold? No judgment. Just noticing how the breath feels as it enters and exits. Now in your next breath, make it a little bit deeper. And then open your mouth and <sighs> sigh it out. Another one of those, a little bit deeper breath. <sighs> sigh it out. One more time, in. Now take one hand and place it on your belly, and one plant hand and place it on your heart. We're going to breathe into the hand that's on the belly. So feel as you inhale, your belly get bigger and 
push your hand away as you inhale. And then exhale, and as you exhale, feel that belly button pull back in towards the spine. Inhale, and feel that diaphragm lower into the belly and the belly expand and get bigger. And exhale, let it go. Nice and easy. And then a little tuck at the end of that belly button towards the spine. One more time. Inhale into that lower hand. And exhale. Now let's take that breath and make it a little bigger. So inhale into that lower hand. Feel the belly rise. And then keep inhaling and feel the chest rise too. And then exhale, chest and belly. Inhale, belly out, chest lifts, and feel the rib cage as it expands throughout your entire body around through the back and the sides. And then exhale and belly. One more time, inhale. All the way up to the top, and then exhale to top to the bottom. Move your hands and place them back on your knees. We'll get ready for the next session. Mm -hmm.